So Gary, Gary's our member from, from Atlanta, and he just finished taking the equine IR course. Tell us, Gary, what do you think about the course in general? Well, um, what I wanted to know is uh, how I could actually incorporate this in my business. So the use of the camera and that sort of thing I feel comfortable with, but it's the business and the application and the marketing, and, and, and that's what I wanted to learn. And you guys uh, certainly exceeded my expectations on that. Tell me about the science. Do you think that the vet that we had and the vet, tr the trainers and the farrier that we brought in sufficiently gave you the science background of, of everything about a horse? Yeah, there wasn't a question that, uh, that I couldn't stump them with. Um, you guys put together pretty much a subject matter expert team and uh, you couldn't have handpicked anybody better. Uh, very quickly they earned our respect uh, with their, uh, their knowledge. And so we have Winburns here from Las Vegas, Nevada. What, you just finished the equine IR course. What do you think about it? It was great. Um, we started our business back in 2007 and uh, we're always trying to reinvent ourselves and, and offer new services to our customers. We have a, a love for animals, so infrared, horses, being able to help animals and people works great for our business. Beautiful. So you, do, you took the course with him. He's the primary thermographer. Mm -hmm. Do you have now a better appreciation for what thermography is about? I do. I feel, I feel pretty comfortable that I'll be able to assist him and, and help him in um, getting the pictures and doing whatever he needs. But it was very informational. The, the um, people you had here feel like we felt like they were very friendly and helpful. All right. Thank you very much for the interview. Welcome to the team. Thanks. John Harnish, nice to see you. Appreciate it. Do you like, did you like, you just completed the thermal infrared course for equine IR. What did you think in general about the course? Overall, it was well organized. So do you think that the veterinarian covered the science part of it uh, sufficiently for you? Way above and beyond my expectations when I came. I, I knew that they would be here, but I had no idea that the knowledge would be so intense and that they are excited about this as we are. Hands on, was it sufficient for you to be able to start going out at this moment between the hands on and the report writing, do you think that you could go out right now and start and do one of these surveys? Most certainly. There's no doubt in my mind. Perfect. I notice you're wearing the World Equestrian Games hat. We're a vendor sponsor of that event. Are you excited about the chance to go to the equestrian oh, yeah. event and represent with your company with equine ir i got 12 months to get ready for that and it's all about education and when we're done there the education will be done i believe it'll be solid solid feedback solid business I, that was by far the most exciting thing about this and the way you guys are releasing this is for you to invest in us before you even knew who we were really shows you your confidence uh, with the equine IR and where it's going to go. Welcome to the team, John. Thank you, sir. Ed Close, nice to see you. You just completed the equine IR training course. What do you think in general about the course? We had the time to ask the question to the experts and get our answers. You think that you, at this point, can go out and start doing equine thermography? Yes, I can. Peter, it's been a pleasure to be with you this week. What did you think in general about the equine IR training since you just completed the course? Spectacular. Had a, had a great time. I uh, really learned a lot. Um, didn't know anything about horses. Knew the thermal end, not the horse end, and I, I think I got to, Got a lot about the ratio of trainers, experts, and our staff to the number of students that were here. Oh, it was perfect. I mean, there was never a question unanswered. The science part, do you think you're, uh, are you, you sufficiently trained now to be able to go out and do the work, no. if not interpret what you found, at least go out and collect beautiful images? Absolutely. I was, uh, I was, 
ready to go beforehand and wanted to do it, but had I uh, was nervous about not knowing the protocols, and now I feel very comfortable. You covered it really well, uh, and the hands-on was great. A lot of good experience. Got to uh, experience a lot of what we might see in the real world, so that was nice. Randy Bevere, nice to see you at this course. We spent a week talking, and you have just completed the Equine R thermal imaging course. In general, what do you think about the course? I thought it was top notch. It's one of the best courses I've ever gone to, and I've been to a lot of training courses. Hands on was completely appropriate. The instructors were top rate, and I couldn't be more satisfied. And do you think that you're sufficiently trained now in the science part? so that you can go out and do the hands-on and collect the pictures perfectly, if not doing the interpretations. I am extremely comfortable now. Before I wasn't coming to this course, I knew I could go out and do the job, but now I have confidence and I am comfortable with the science behind Do you think that we had a sufficient uh, amount of uh, instructors versus the students at during the hands-on portion? Oh, extremely. The Instructor to student ratio was fantastic. We were never without a chance to have somebody help us answer questions, get their insight and their experience. Bob McCoy from North Carolina, thank you for attending the Equine IR Thermal Imaging Seminar that we conducted here. Tell me in general, what do you think about the course? I think the course is fabulous. The distinction I would make in terms of the, the possibility this creates for me is doing this kind of, is getting into the infrared business in an area that has heart. The rest of the stuff as an engineer is just mechanics for me and it's not real rocket science. It's fascinating, but to be able to, to make a difference for a live animal and the animal's owner is just like, that's just, that's beyond words actually. That's where I'm at. That was beautiful. Hold on. Do you think we sufficiently covered the science portion? I think for the first time, Greg, you actually you got showed up. You, you got showed up a little bit. I mean, these folks that you brought in, uh, Dean and Joanna and Shan and the rest of the crowd, is just like fabulous. Uh, they are at, you know, we're going to be the periphery of this business, but they are actually the core of it. And without that solid core, it just isn't going to work. And what was fabulous was to be able to meet them and have to be able to come out of this with a degree of confidence that this can really work. Joanna Robson, we thank you very much for coming and teaching this course, the science portion of Equine IR. And thank you very much, Greg Stockton, for having me. It was a pleasure. Let me, know, let me ask you a question about the students. You had maybe 15 or 20 people here. Mm -hmm. You brought with you three people from your institute mm -hmm. to help um, teach the course. You taught the science part of it, and then when we went and did the hands-on work, what did you think about the, stu the, the level of the students that you had already? Uh, the students that we had absolutely blew me out of the water. Coming into the course, you never know what to expect. You don't know what type of people you're going to have. It's a different group that we're instructing to. Their enthusiasm for the material was absolutely overwhelming. Um, their professionalism and their desire to maintain a strong and specific level of integrity was absolutely like nothing else I've ever encountered. And they just ate up and absorbed any information that we could put out there for them. They were very well prepared, um, excellent around the horses. and very Thermography, I've seen the results of it firsthand as a vet, but I also know that I am helping to build the businesses, not only of the people that are coming here to participate in this course, but when they leave here, they're going to be building businesses for the saddle fitters that are in their area, for the local veterinarians, and for the specialist veterinarians. Because we have to remember, the whole point behind thermography is we're able to localize lesions that you otherwise wouldn't be able to see, and to detect lesions that otherwise aren't going to be seen with traditional modalities. The horse owner is able to take back a professional report, show their veterinarian or their saddle fitter, look, I have these problems and then that person's going to be able to make revenue by addressing those problems, making the clients and the horses happier and healthier at the end of the day, and that's what this is all about.